Irish Dramatic Movement. Irish Dramatic Movement is also very important. One reason being because this was the movement again related to W. B. Yeats. This was the movement in which they started exploring what exploring uh, exploring Irish uh, Irish tradition traditions. So the Irish literary revival. The purpose is to revive whatever was there in Irish literature. Then Irish literary Renaissance, nicknamed as Celtic Twilight. So this is also known as the known as Celtic Twilight, and unfolding of Irish literary talent in the late 19th and early 20th century. So this uh, is actually the purpose is just to revive uh, Irish literary tradition was closely allied with the strong political nationalism and a revival. of interest in ireland's gaelic literary gaelic literary heritage so actually their purpose was to uh, was to revive everything which was there in ireland's literary gaelic literature uh, literary heritage was inspired by the nationalistic pride of the gaelic bible and by the gaelic league which was formed in 1893 to revive the irish language and literature so their purpose was to revive irish language and culture developed into a vigorous literary force centered on the poet and playwright william butler yeats wrote only a few plays contributed to the foundation of abbey theater abbey theater is also one of the most important theaters which they founded and uh, lady gregory and there were many other people too who were actually associated with the theater and their purpose was to revive uh, irish tradition irish national this was an irish national theater so used symbols w b yeats he is known as the father of symbolism his tremendous influence has tremendous influence on modern english drama uh, w b yeats too he wrote a very few plays but still he has a lot of influence on modern english drama especially because of the symbols which he used and the symbols which he used are most of most of those symbols are irish and uh, these are uh, the purpose is to revive whatever whatever uh, whatever happened in the culture and tradition of and history of ireland so contributors yeats chiefly colleague, chief colleague was lady isabel augusta gregory so lady gregory commonly known as lady gregory so she was uh, his colleague who took a leading part in the abbey's management so she used to manage that abbey theater and wrote many plays the irish literary theater established in 1898 also excelled in the production of peasant plays the greatest dramatist of the movement was john millington singh he is another important dramatist of this movement Uh, apart from lady gregory and uh, wb yeats but uh, john millington singh he also wrote a number of plays and which are talking about these uh, uh, which are talking about all this uh, whatever was happening in uh, uh, whatever used to, whatever uh, which is he's also talking about uh, irish traditions so later the theater turned towards realism mostly rural realism lennox this robinson and tc murray were among the early realists in tradition to the peasant realism Sino Gacy is also one of the famous uh, famous writer. Wrote three great dramas, and he wrote three great dramas in this direction. In poetry, in addition to Yeats, George Russell composed works of enduring interest. So George Russell was also very important. So the early leaders of the Renaissance wrote rich and passionate works. that uh, with this uh, of this renaissance uh, when they wrote, started writing they wrote rich and passionate verse filled with the grandeur of ireland's past and the music and mysticism of gaelic poetry were mainly members of the privileged class and were adept at english verse forms familiar with lyric poetry that extolled the simple dignity of the irish peasant and the natural beauty of ireland so their purpose was to express their concern uh, for ireland express their concern for uh, the dignity of ireland and they talked about the tradition of uh, traditions of ireland they talked about the history of ireland in their works so this was the main concern which they were having and if we look at the writers the important writers are lady gregory and then we have uh, uh, john millington singh and uh, w b yeats 
so the younger contemporaries they were having many other people those who followed them and those who started writing in the same vein but uh, uh, these were the people those who uh, uh, those who like uh, those who were a bit rebellious and all of them were executed in 1916 for their past for their part in easter rising and there is a very famous poem uh, by w b yeats on this easter rising and in which he is talking about all those things which happened at that time so prose fiction the historic tales of emily lawless and standish james o'grady so these these historical tales these are also depicting the same thing irish tradition and irish culture and the realist novels of george moore james stephens also wrote stories and poetry uh, in the same way